So I recently did a talk for AIT in Sydney about creating some previous animation for Unreal or in Unreal really quickly without uh, anim hand animating anything or doing mocap. So today I didn't really specify how to do that, I just showed it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, which is the handy part, I guess. So this can be used for all sorts of things, whether that be pre planning mocap, planning a live action shoot, just planning out uh, a hand animated s section or just using this as final animation, it's up to you. So we're using the advanced locomotion system, which is a bit old now, but works really well. So it's basically a complete third person system. It's got vaulting, it's got ragdolls, it's got sprinting as well as running and walking. It's completely works with analog sticks. So you can use an Xbox controller to really dial things in. We also have a heap of different animations. So I use the torch one in the AIT talk like that. So what we can do then is simply go into take recorder like so, add him into take recorder as we have there. Then hit if we hit play, hit record, and then we can do an action, like so I can walk around, walk, maybe I grab out binoculars and I can, what are they doing over there? Like so. And then we can view that back and we have a complete animation. Just like that. And so, you know, you don't need to use the AILS system. You can use other things as well, but here you can see how we can really quickly easily create animations for previous purposes this way <laughs> that took me about 30 seconds so i'm going to show you a bit more of an advanced setup so we're going to jump in and going to add to this feature or content pack i'm going to add the first person the um does it have a no lara's the game i don't think lara is the name of the third person character it's not money. It's is it money? No, money's the old one. So again, we can also do the exact same thing with this system if we wanted to. So obviously, we have a lot less animations. But I can simply delete the player start. Go ahead and grab in third person blueprints the blue the character like so. Uh, in the details panel, which I just closed. Details details. We go towards the bottom is going to be auto possessed player. We want to set that to zero, which will be us now. Go ahead and add our character to the take recorder. Hit play, hit record. Like so. Bounce, 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 bounce. So, yep. So, if you wanted to say hand animate your own character, as a say base or starting for some custom animation for example then you could do that now if we watch it back the exact same thing happens again just really cool so these are these because of the way take recorder works these actually get saved as animations so if we go into takes here animation we actually have just animation sequence Ta -da. So the good thing about what this is, is we can then use something such as the animation retargeter to retarget this to a different skeleton if we'd like. Uh, I don't even know where the retarget, there it is. Retarget. So we could retarget this to a different skeleton. We could go ahead and edit these. Now, the reason I chose the third person example for this next section is because by default, if I go into characters, mannequin, there we go. Uh, rigs here we go so it, this new skeleton the um is it quinn quinn is a name gosh so quinn comes with a control rig a really good one <laughs> set up already so what we can do is we have animation here so what we can do is we can actually just bake this into so if we unlock this take we can go ahead we can have Bake to control rig, control rig. Current, yeah, that's leave it all as default for now and create. And that should, here we go.
So what we've just done is converted that animation into control rig so that if we like, we could go through and we could edit it however we please. So this is where the benefit for something such as, what, did something freeze? Oh, PC froze? No, just Epic. Unreal froze? There we go. Something's really laggy about the very end of the sequence. So using this method, we could create custom animation for our character and then use that as a base animation for a hand keyed piece. But, you know, all the annoying things such as walk cycles and run cycles, which fill up most of people's days when it comes to character, uh, hand key characters, especially in large scenes, don't need to do that anymore. And if this animation is good enough, then we could just use that as our, as background characters. So if I duplicate this, set the original to where it is, details panel, set this back to disabled and then so now we will take over this second character yep there we go go ahead and let's just i shouldn't have closed it open up the take we made da, 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 there like so so we should have like that yep so i'm going to use this take as the base take and i'll remove the character and i'm going to add our new character in which one which one's the wait which one's the animated one Oh, okay. So add this character in as a new source. Go ahead and jump back to the start. Hit play. Hit record. And we should. There we go. Now I can actually follow the other character around. We. I don't know why it's playing like that glitchy look. But just like that, what we've done is we've actually just created more animation. <laughs> so we can now, and then I could grab, you know, I can just grab a cinema camera like that. And I've got the beginnings of a unreal film, just like that. So hopefully you enjoyed this little look at how to do that so again we've been using this for mocap planning i plan on using this to do some can keyed animation as well as like a jump start so it's a really handy system so i hope you enjoyed it